Hmm, a null error. Let me just fix that. Undefined error? What, what even is the difference? Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And when I first started learning programming, I learned things like C and Java, and in those languages, the keyword null essentially meant that something wasn't defined or had no value. And then I learned JavaScript, and I realized that they have both null and undefined, and I was really confused at what does null mean and what does undefined mean, because to me, they both seem to do the exact same thing. So in this video, I want to break down the exact differences between null and undefined, because they share a lot of similarities, but there's some very distinct differences between the two that you need to understand. Now to get started, I want to cover the similarities first, and the main similarity is null and undefined both mean that there is no value for this variable or thing that you're trying to access. That's pretty straightforward, and actually when you do equal comparisons between the word null and the word undefined, you'll find that if you use two equal signs, null and undefined are equal to each other because they both exist saying that something doesn't exist, they're both saying this has no value, but when you use triple equals, so three equal signs, null and undefined are not actually equal to each other. And if you want to learn a little bit more about double equals versus triple equals, I have a full video on it. I'll link in the cards and description for you. But essentially, the main thing to notice is if you're using double equals, it's going to equal either null or undefined. They both work the exact same way, but triple equals will distinguish between null and undefined, which is super important for when you're trying to check for null and undefined. I almost always use double equals, but it's entirely up to you. Now, really, the only difference between null and undefined is the actual intent that the programmer is trying to show you by using the keyword null or undefined. You'll notice that nowhere at all inside of JavaScript are you going to get the keyword null unless some programmer somewhere actually specifically returns the keyword null. It doesn't just come up on its own in JavaScript. You're only going to find it if it's specifically being returned as null. So with using null, you're essentially explicitly saying this thing has no value. I checked for this value or I did some calculation and there is no value at all and I'm returning null to tell you that there is no value for this thing that you're looking for. A great example of this would be if you have a list of things and you're trying to find something in that list. If it doesn't exist, you return null because that thing does not exist in the list. That is going to be like your primary use case for null. Undefined, on the other hand, is not explicitly saying that there is no value. It's just saying this thing hasn't been defined yet. So when you first create a variable, if you just say let a, the value of a is going to be undefined until you actually define it and give it a value. So undefined is kind of like the default state of everything. Everything is undefined until you define it. And by defining something as null, you're saying, hey, this thing has been defined, but it does not have any value at all. While if something is undefined, it's essentially saying, hey, this thing's not defined yet. I don't know if it's going to have a value or if it's not going to have a value. It just doesn't exist yet. Now, one thing that trips up a lot of people, though, is the fact you can actually set a variable's value to either null or undefined. And when I was mentioning earlier, undefined essentially means something hasn't been defined yet. But if you set a variable to the value of undefined, you're explicitly saying it's undefined. So that's a bit confusing. Really, the only time I would ever set a variable's value to undefined is if you want to reset that variable for some reason. But generally, you're only going to be setting variables to null because null is like explicitly saying this thing doesn't exist. Well, undefined is saying, hey, we haven't defined this thing yet. So generally, you're not going to set a variable to undefined. You're going to set it to null, but it's entirely up to you. If you really like undefined, you can use that instead. This is just generally what these types of things are trying to portray to people reading your code. That way, when they read your code and they see the word undefined being returned, it means most likely they're trying to access something that doesn't exist or doesn't exist yet. Well, if they see the word null being returned for like a null error, then they know, hey, I'm trying to access something and it just doesn't have a value. So instead of it not existing, it exists, but it exists as nothing that has no value. Now, if you want to dive deeper into null and undefined, check out this video over here where I cover double equals versus triple equals. It's really going to dive in deep for you. And thank you very much for watching this video.